In this video, I'll show you how to grill pizza on the Blaze Kamado. The first thing you'll want to do is get your Kamado started so that it can preheat while we prep for the pizza. I like to place three fire starters around the sides of the charcoal pile. This helps the charcoal catch fire evenly and makes for a quicker preheat. I have the bottom damper door open and I like to leave the lid open until the fire stabilizes. Once the coals have some glowing portions, go ahead and place your pizza stone on the cooking grids. Close the lid and let your Blaze Kamado preheat. I have found the top and bottom damper set completely open works well for a crispy pizza. Now all we have to do is prep our pizza. Flour your work surface well, and it also helps if you lightly flour the dough ball, it helps to prevent your hands from sticking as you press it out. If your dough is in the refrigerator, make sure it comes to room temperature before pressing. It makes it a lot easier to work with. Press your dough out from the center, and sometimes it helps to pick it up a little and stretch it like this. With your dough pressed out, place it on a pizza peel that you've lightly dusted with some cornmeal. Now for the sauce. I made mine homemade, but use whatever kind you'd like. I like to keep it simple. I use some crushed tomatoes, fresh chopped basil, garlic, and a little black pepper and kosher salt to taste. At this point, you can top your pizza however you'd like. Today I'm making pizza margarita, so I'm going to top mine with some fresh diced mozzarella cheese. All right, let's get our pizza on the grill. The lid thermometer is reading an ambient temperature a little above 500 degrees, which is perfect because the pizza stone at grid level will be somewhere around the 600 to 650 degree range. Dust your pizza stone with a little cornmeal, and you're ready to place your pizza on the grill. Let the pizza bake with the lid closed for about a minute and a half. Then I like to see how it's going and give it a little turn. As you can see, it's baking very even. I really didn't even need to turn it. I'll let it cook for about five to seven minutes total, just until the crust is golden and the cheese is bubbling like this. Beautiful. I could stare at this all day, but I'm hungry, so let's get it off the grill. All we have left to do is slice and dig in. Check out the bottom of this crust. Perfect. 